Welcome everyone, Adam the Woo here, San Bernardino, California, at Mount View Cemetery and Mortuary, and I'm here with Count Stankus. Hi. And we Hi. are at somewhere that I guess would be considered hollowed ground for fans oh. of Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, yes. And you're wearing a Jimi Hendrix shirt, Jimmy who's Hendrix. also a rock legend. Yes. But this rock legend is someone other than Jimi Hendrix. This rock legend is another guitarist. Yeah. And who is that guitarist? Oh, Randy Rhodes himself. One of the greatest metal guitar players ever to set foot on this planet. And this. you fancied yourself oh, yeah. as a bit of a metal guitar player in your younger I days. Guess. Yeah. I you were in a band. band? Oh yeah, played in a band for a long time. So, which I did. Unfortunately, reality has said, no, you must have family and have a job. But you have those memories forever. I have my memories. Memories live on, as well as the memories of Randy Rhodes. And the interesting thing is, where Randy Rhodes, where he actually died, is yeah. in Ocala, Florida. I did a vlog there yeah. hundreds and hundreds of days ago. I think it was day 500 and something, if anyone knows what number of the vlog that I did from Randy Rhodes, where he actually had the plane crash into the house at the private airport. Leave a comment if you know where exactly that was. And how interesting yep. on the East Coast is where he actually ended up, is where he ended up getting in the plane wreck was, right. but on the West Coast is where he was buried. Right. And this is his final resting place right here. The final resting place of Randy Rhodes. And there's some interesting stuff here at this little mausoleum. This is what they would call that, a mausoleum, correct? Yep. People have left all kind of things a beer bottle, a Paps Blue Ribbon beer bottle, some cigarette ash, someone probably smoked a cigarette in honor of their hero. Over there in the back, you can see a, a guitar pick. Mm -hmm. And here are some plants, some flowers probably have been here for quite some time. And yeah. someone has also left their CD here of their music. Yeah, it looks like their music doesn't look like anything you did. And over on this side, there is a note that someone has written a personalized note. Yeah and a Jack Daniels liquor bottle, a flag, and there's also an air freshener there that is signed, says love you, and some other words that are on there, as well as a bunch of pennies. Here's the engraving on his grave, and it looks like there's actually another slot above and below it. So I wonder if anyone else is buried here. Gosh, you gotta figure that was maybe one day, you know, 30, 33 yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. When he was actually placed here. Yeah, that was such a sad day. That just, oh man, so many people were upset when he, when he passed away. Very insp inspiring, uh, inspirational. That's why it's such a right player. An inspiration for all young people. Yeah. But we're not young anymore. We're not. We're definitely no we young whippersnapper. But still, in our minds, we are still an inspiration. Yeah. So I thought this was very interesting. Hanging out with Count Stankus today. We're out filming some video adventures. And I realized that we were in this area. I said, you should pull over and we should check out sure. the final resting place of Randy Road. So I'll give you guys one last little moment of quietness here. Are these petunias? They Are these be. petunias? <laughs> hey, what channel is this? It's my second channel, Daily Blog channel. It's Count Stankus here on the Daily Blog. That's right. Thank you for reminding me of that. Yeah, I don't want anybody giving you I would have forgotten. What happened, Adam? Would not have wanted to forget that. So here you go. And it's very interesting because most of the graves here at the cemetery are very flat. They don't even have headstones, but this side has all the headstones. There's only a couple of little mausoleums, and this one belongs to Randy Rhodes right there. Final resting place. One of the greatest guitarists ever. This guy could play incredible heavy metal. His technique, his tone was awesome, and he also could do things like the, the, the song he made for his mom called Deep. Classical. The guy was an awesome guitar player. He could play anything. And he also he played good. in Quiet Riot as well. Yeah. Quiet yeah. Riot, but he's best known probably for being the guitar player for Ozzy Osbourne. Yeah. And if you guys want to do the research, go back and look up the vlog I did. Look up Randy Rhodes, The Daily Woo, and you can see I went to the exact spot where the plane crash happened into Ozzy and Sharon's tour van back in 1982. It's crazy how long ago that was. Yeah. But one last look at this. Here in San Bernardino, California. I think we are in San Bernardino. Somewhere Cal in there. Somewhere <laughs> in San Bernardino County, which San Bernardino County is the biggest county in California, I think, right? I One of the right largest now. counties. Randy Rhodes. Okay, see you guys. Say goodbye. Bye.